They say that. So what we call angels are the faculties of the psyche of man. Okay? Ange L, L is a um, Canaanite word for God. So angels are divine faculties. The divine faculties are the spirits of God. You see that? Okay? It's important because, you see, when you hear the word angel, you know, you get the impression that we talk about some mythological, some mythical creature. Some human being with little angel uh, wings and stuff like that. That's nonsense. When you go into the scriptures, you find that, you know, angels, you know, perform all kinds of miraculous deeds. But, you know, that is just simply parables or whatever. In ancient Egypt, you have, you know, doc books that help you to understand that the angels, you know, are faculties of the spirit. Okay? The Arabic word for angels is jinn. D J I N, jinn. The jinn is the source of the Greek word genius. The genii. Okay? When you tap into a jinn, an angel, then you become a genius at something. It's very important if you don't stand. Okay? And it's. And it's you know, that's where, you know, the whole concept of the importance of, of intuition. Meaning, you can and must learn things from the outside. Somebody will teach you things, right? But the greater knowledge, the knowledge that advances civilization is intuition. Dr. Joseph Ben Jokanen used to say that, you know, the first man that, had, that got a doctorate in something had to give it to himself. <laughs> Who taught Einstein E equals MC squared? Intuition. Who taught Newton the law of motion and thermodynamics and gravity? He had to have taught it to himself. Intuition, right? But, in, but where does intuition come from? Where does it come from? Where does instinct come from? We say instinct. We say intuition. What did the ancients say? They spoke differently because they were not, you know, they were not, you know, Italians. So they didn't say instinct and intuition. They had their own, we said, nature. You, know, you said Orisha. Homo soon. You with me? The Hindu says Devas. When you get into studying, when you get beyond just simply soundbite education to dig into things, you find that instinct, intuition, <coughs> they are looking at the same thing we call angels and archangels and jinns and Genii and things of that nature. You, you see that. Okay? And when you want to tap into your wisdom, you don't rub, rub some uh, lantern or whatever, lamp or something. I don't know what it was. You know, and some little genie <laughs> comes up. You go see Dr. Kopi Kondwane to teach you how to meditate get into the depths of your spirit. Because you see, the source, why do they say intuition? Because it's hidden in your subconscious and it will reveal itself to you. You know, many discoveries, scientific di discoveries happen at the same time in different parts of the world. People that didn't know each other, right? Like the, 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 the knowledge of the molecular theory that led to chemistry, it happened to different scientists around the same time and they didn't know each other. They weren't talking to each other. Because the knowledge of any and everything in the world is hidden in all of you. So, 
what you call your spirit, when you go beyond Freud and Carl Jung and, you know, uh, those failed attempts to understand your psyche and your spirit, and go back to people who have done the proper study of the psyche and the spirit, you're going to find that there are 11 faculties, there are major 11 faculties in what you call your spirit. Well understood, and so forth. The reason that, you see, it is projected in this form is because the faculties have a complementary, supplementary relationship to one another. They have a hierarchical, a top-down relationship. That's science. And this arrangement of hierarchy complements, okay, and supplements. All work, show you how everything works together for the one purpose. And everything in nature works that way. That's why the architecture of the part in the title tree of life is the foundation of holistic and scientific thinking. And I want you to understand that because, you see, you know, um, <clears throat> somebody wants to make you believe that if you start to talk about angels and ancestors, you're talking mysticism and you're talking, you know, um, superstition. <laughs> you're talking non-scientifically, okay? This is not rocket science. This is beyond rocket science. When rocket science fails, then come back to Kamet, the sort of the Portland Federal. And rocket science is failing it because, you see, people who went to the moon and came back, they weren't changed. They were still the same sorry human beings. Okay? I'm talking about the guy specifically, about the race. Okay. So the study of the tree of life, and by the way, you're not going to find the real understanding of the tree of life in Kabbalah. Because Kabbalah is nothing else but, you know, an attempt to understand, you see, the Potnatero, which is an African teaching. Is that correct to you, my beloved? Okay? I'm not grandstanding. Read my Midunity, Volume 1 through 7. And then get all the Kabbalah books, the Zephyr HaZohar, the Yetzirah, the Akshmetzaref, the books by Winston and the Golden of the Crucians. Study them all together and you come back and tell me. Because I've read all of them and uh, that's what I'm getting.